Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review and uh, it is once again a Resident Evil film. Now, this is the sequel, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Now, just to get it started, Resident Evil always leaves its films on a cliffhanger, giving the audience more and enticing them with a sequel. And this is the first sequel in the film franchise. It follows um, Alice again. Really, uh, Emilia Jovovich stars as Alice, Sienna Gulleroy, Odor Fair, Thomas Kretschmann, Jared Harris, Mike Epps, Sophia Vazur, Raz Odiot, yeah. Sandrine Holt. So now that the names are out of the way, um, Alice, she's back. Um, Raccoon City is fine, it's normal, however the experiment that happened underneath the city, Umbrella for some stupid reason decided to open up the hive again. God knows why you'd do it, um, they must be stupid or something, I don't know. But the cliffhanger at the end of the first film, Resident Evil, was that um, Alice got taken away, she got taken away to a Raccoon City facility, and her friend Matt... Uh, he got taken into the Nemesis program, hence this film. Uh, we do find the Nemesis. It's not really a spoiler, it's not a secret. It does happen. The Nemesis is you know, alive. This is the film that I actually like because it's in a city. Uh, the zombies are stumbling, they're shambling along, which is good. However, one thing I did find negative was that every time there's a zombie on the screen, the camera goes all funny and dodgy and zooms in and out and you can't get focused properly. However, the gist of the story is, Dr. Charles Ashford is being evacuated out of the city. Um, when they opened up the hive underneath Raccoon City, they opened it up, Umbrella did, and they just unleashed all the zombies onto the city. What a bunch of dicks. And so Umbrella decided to get out their most famous uh, loyal assets and Dr. Charles Ashford just happened to be one of them. Um, the stubborn bastard that he is who created the T-virus for his daughter who's not very well, she can't walk, uh, it's not described as to what is actually wrong with her, however she can't walk. She's been given the T-virus to help all her dead cells regenerate and help her walk. So the stubborn bastard won't go without his daughter, fair enough, however they evacuate him, they try and get his daughter However, there's a car crash. Some idiot sideswipes him, knocks him flying. The girl manages to survive. He's always on the dog and bone trying to get hold of Alice and her little crew, including Jill Valentine. Pretty cool. Also, you've got Carlos Oliveira, who joins in eventually once he gets a phone call from uh, Dr. Ashford. So you've got a few more members of uh, Stars. Uh, you've also got a few more members of the well-known gaming franchise. They're all out to find this little girl to get an evacuation out of Raccoon City. Fair enough, who wouldn't if you've got a guy who's willing to help you? Take it. And that's pretty much the gist of the story. Um, guy who's kind enough, go find my daughter, I'll get you out of the city. Fair enough, sounds good. Um, there is Alice, I mean, she does uh, wake up at the start of the film and she's got all these new powers, she's pretty kick-ass. She is infected with the T-virus, so you do see a few of the side effects um, affecting her, really, throughout the film. Um, but, really, sequel to the main film. Uh, can't recommend it enough. If you're a fan of Milia Jovovich, Sienna Gulleroy, um, any other members of cast that I have mentioned, uh, if you're a fan of seeing The Nemesis, then you'll definitely want to see this. If you've seen the previous Resident Evil film, then you'll definitely want to watch it, hence the sequel. Uh, if you're a fan of the games, definitely want to watch it. Uh, there haven't been many good reviews about the film, however, I kind of like this one. Um, it's in the city, it's rural, it's dark, It's um, it just shows you the zombies stumbling through the city, which is pretty cool. They're not in an underground laboratory, uh, they're not co-workers or anything like that from Umbrella. They're civilians who have been eaten and uh, the T-virus has taken hold of them. It's actually all the way through. It does open it for a sequel, uh, as all Resident Evil films do. They always leave it on a cliffhanger. But I like this one. Um, if you're a fan of Resident Evil, Zombies, uh, the game's previous film. If you're a fan of the Nemesis, uh, Emilia Jovovich. If you want to see um, Jill Valentine in a film, then Resident Evil Apocalypse is definitely one for you. So guys, thanks for watching my uh, review of Resident Evil Apocalypse. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. 
We are the voting, links down below as per usual. I love the gear, wear it every video. Use Toby WTD, gets you 20% off. Who doesn't love prices? Being knocked off by special promo codes? Everybody. So, thanks for watching my review of uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching.